Hello! In this tutorial we will show you how to create a progress bar in an input form. This progress bar will be the indicator while you save. Very easy to make, it is not complicated. Follow us on Visual Excel Basic. We will work on the developer. For those who do not have this function can install it. Here's how to do it. Go to File and click. Next, click Options. Click Customize Ribbon. Then check the Developer box and click OK. So we're going to click on Developer. Next, open Visual Basic. We will insert a new user form and create a registration form. Insert user form. In two tone, we will give it a color. Blue. We will call it registration form. In place of Babel. The top marked login form. The color of the text, we will set it to white and we will adjust the font. We put it in bold at 14, for example, and more shocked. We are going to install TextBoxit. Please note that this form is not the subject of our tutorial. It is just to show you the role of this progress bar. I'm going to stop recording while I finish making this form. There you go. The form is ready. What interests us now is the save button and it will save and transfer the data entered in this form. It will also launch the progress bar and cause a save of the application. Now we move on to creating the progress bar. For this we need two labels. The first label. So caption. We're going to put three zeros. And we go. And three zeros in the middle. I have three zero cents. The progress bar timer should not be neglected. Otherwise it will work. This label will be called Bear Progress. Then, we will create the second label. This second label, we will call it Progress. And we delete caption. The first label, we will give it the color of the user form. We are going to copy the color of the user form. We click on the label and in the back color of the label, we will paste this color. The text is three zeros. We will also give them the same color as the label. In 8. We're going to put 280. This is the Tulabel length. The second label, we will give it a green color. The first label, we will frame it. The border color, we will 
put it in white. And hell, if we set it to single, we're going to set the progress bar which is progress. So yes, we will set it to zero. Now we move on to coding. By clicking the save button twice and in this space, we will mark nice workbook points application. You harmful equal you now we are going to mark to save the workbook the application we will score 10 for book for those Then, we will mark the coding of the progress bar and we will say for x equals a all but yes Bart is making progress. Oh, yes. That is all. Okay, forced. Oh, it doesn't matter. Zero. All. Fifty. Eleven May eighth. Note. Bar by Grace. Dot caption. Legal. It's though heaven. Next. Eight is progressing. Of others. Equals. Back events. Next. To initialize the form, that is to say it deletes everything it has marked in mark instead of user form. One dot cho The code is finished. We're going to give it a try. We click. I album them and we perform. Happy conservation and a dreamer and the progress bar works properly. You must first place in the first place with the coding of the progress bar, the coding which will execute the transfer of the data marked in the form. In the progress code. There you go. I hope this tutorial will be useful to you if our tutorial comes to an end. I'll see you again for another one soon. Thank you for your attention. If you liked it, like it, click the bell so you don't miss anything. Beautiful things to discover. Subscribe. Leave
a com we will spare no effort to respond and assist you. Thank you for your attention.